We'll kick off with Gary and then just hands up for any other questions. Thank you very much. Hi, Gary. Thanks for your time. Hearing that Champions League music, nothing new to you, but new to quite a lot of the younger players here at Arsenal. Are you sensing it's a special occasion for them, this Champions League experience? Is there excitement around the place? Uh, hello to everyone. Uh, well, uh, for sure, you know, uh, yesterday some some of them was joking in the gym, putting the music. So I think everyone is, I think now I'm sure everyone is happy, not just the player, I think the club, the fans, because a long way without play this competition. I think now Arsenal are back in the competition. A club uh, like Arsenal cannot stay without play that competition so everyone at the club is are very happy they were, they were playing the the chubby thing <laughs> yeah 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 like a joke yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good <laughs> what's your role then uh as somebody with all this experience i think it's 30 experience, 20 goals in the chubby thing do you have an extra special role to play amongst some of the younger players well uh i think everyone here is is already uh, experienced, no? To to know uh, how to control emotions, like this kind of things. Obviously, uh, some of them uh, is the first time uh, he play a Champions League. It's a different competition, you know. But I still think uh, for who plays here, you know, like in Premier League, in my opinion, uh, the tough league in the world. Uh, can be can be playing in the Champions League, you know. Um, so I think uh, everyone here do good. You obviously go into every game wanting to win, and this is just the first game, group stage, then the knockout stages. Do you also though go into this competition yourself, believing that you can win it? Of course. Uh, all the competitions, all the trophies, we go for uh, to win the the, the competition. And Champions League is not the same. I think uh, if we think opposite, we are wrong because we are playing for Arsenal, you know. We have to believe and then uh, we have to trust uh, uh, the teammates, the manager, the club and then uh, go for it. Davide? Uh, what makes the Champions League so different for players compared to other competitions? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> For me, uh, uh, it's different because it's, it's different because I remember uh, the times I watch at home. You know, uh, the time I miss the school to watch, and my mom get crazy. So. <laughs> That's this uh, for me. Starts there, you know. Uh, was uh, different to hear the music, to to see the best clubs. Uh, probably because of that, you know, uh, all the leagues, uh, the best clubs go. So I think this helped a lot. And then uh, it's a different game, you know. It's a different competition. Uh, like I said, the 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 clubs who win the league or who qualifying uh, for the Champions League, you know, it's like uh, more, I think it's uh, more quality. And then uh, that's why I make this uh, special. Hi, uh, Eric from the team in Sweden, Norway. Uh, can you try to explain how Martin Pellegrino is as a leader uh, outside the pitch and as a person off the pitch? He's a great guy, you know, a great player, by the way, <laughs> and a uh, great guy also, you know, uh, he's quiet. Uh, he's try he tried to help everyone you know and uh, i think he do it uh, since day one he 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 was the first uh, player who texted me when i first come so uh he this kind of uh, captain you know leader he don't talk too much he talk uh he he speak in the right time and then uh, he shows on the pitch you know with and without the ball that's i think is good as well what does it tell it you that he sent you that text message Sorry? What does it tell you that he sent you that text message when you... Uh, he just say, uh, welcome to the club. We are very happy. Uh, I cannot wait to play uh, with you. So I was happy, you know. It's uh, good to 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 receive this message, you know, to this text from the, one of the leaders in that time. But, and then now he's the captain, so I was happy. Hi, Gabriel. You were saying you used to miss school to watch the Champions League when you were younger. 
So what's been your favourite Champions League moment, either from you playing or, or you watching from afar? Oh, my favourite was, uh, I think, my first game, you know, my first game was my first goal. And then uh, I become more emotional because, like I said, I... Uh, like uh, 99% of the, the kids, I grew up uh, dreaming to play Champions League, to become a pro, pro, pro player, you know. So, yeah, come a lot of things in my mind. So, like I said, now I can say this, but in that, <laughs> in that time I cannot tell my mom, you know. <laughs> so, I, I'm okay now, but kids, please don't do that. <laughs> As a striker, you must have great fun playing with someone like Pekai Saka. Sorry? As a striker, you must have great fun playing with someone like Pekai Saka. What's he like to play with? Yeah, he's very, like, again, uh, he's a great guy and great uh, player, you know. And they think he's still young. So I still young too, huh? but uh, he's only 22, no, 21, 21. Right? So yeah, he he have at least 20 years to play football. So it's amazing to play with him. He's a very nice guy, uh, always uh, happy, you know, uh, always trying to help the team. Uh, and with the ball, everyone knows, you know, the quality he has. He have, and then. Uh, I'm jo I just enjoy it to play with him. And last one, um, what's, what difference or what has Declan Rice added to this dressing room since he joined the club this summer? He helped a lot. He's a little bit uh, different of uh, Jorginho, Thomas Party, you know, uh, all have their qualities, you know, and they all then uh, can play and help the team. And Dec is I think between the day three is the youngest of course but um, is uh, he comes to help you know he comes to help us uh, like everyone uh, and he's doing amazing you know he's helping a lot in the pitch with and without the ball I think it's not easy when you first come here you know and then uh, you straight play uh, but he's doing very well so I'm very happy for him that's about tomorrow thank you thank you you experienced it in Manchester City where you're competing for the Premier League and the Champions League. How difficult is it to try and fight on both fronts? Uh, it's very difficult, you know. Uh, they did it. They did it. Is uh, this uh, last season? So it's not impossible, you know. So, but it's not easy, you know. We are we are talking about the the tough league in the world and the tough competition in the world so it's not easy but obviously we can do it like I said we have to believe and go for it the big thing at City was none of us knew that the opposition never knew what team Pep was going to pick do you feel like at Arsenal you're now getting to that situation where you're unpredictable people don't know who Mikel's going to play you've got so many different weapons in the team to use uh, to be honest I don't know I hope not <laughs> Uh, joke, but uh, well, uh, everything uh, for the best, you know, uh, for the best for the club, you know, everything best for the club. That's I think what he he'll do, and uh, we as a player, we have to uh, listen and do it for the club, you know. Always trying to do our best, and then uh, go there and win the game, you know. Like obviously for some of players uh, he'll be more difficult if this happens but like I said uh, have to be the best for the club Sam Harry how's your knee my knee is bad it's, it's better now it's very, <laughs> sorry it's very bad yeah it's better now it's uh, well was an unlucky you know and then uh, I have to do it like I said I had to do it like I said and now I I'm getting better you know now my knee is perfect now it's more ridden so yeah I'm work on that you need a sort of few weeks maybe a couple of months to get that full fitness that rhythm I don't think so I don't think so uh, I'm training I'm doing my my better my best and then uh, obviously like I said uh, the weather the weather uh, he'll come for sure yeah. Hi, Gabby. Um, in the Champions League, you've scored numerous goals over over recent years, especially when you're out obviously City. Um, Played for City in the Champions League. What did that teach you about the competition, and why do you think you've done so well in this particular 
tournament? Like I said, uh, it's a different comp- it's a different competition. Uh, it's the competition you you probably uh, you play uh, against the best the better the best team in the world. Like I said before, you know, and then uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I just go there and enjoy like I do. Uh, every time I go to the pitch, you know, I try to do my best, obviously, always. And then uh, the things what works out. So I'm very happy for that. We talked about missing school as a kid to sort of watch the, these kind of games. Uh, to your family, do they have any particular um, liking of the Champions League? What does it mean to them to see you play? <laughs> oh, they are they are very happy, you know. Uh, well, not just my 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 family, my my close friends. You know, they they dream uh, to be footballer as well, and they could. So they are very happy for me, you know. And then uh, they watch and they get emotion, of of course. Are you in some ways representing the ones that couldn't make it to this kind of level? Are your friends? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Sorry for the fascination with your school days. <laughs> uh, it's nice with all the money that's talked about the Premier League. It's nice to remember that you're all just kids who wanted to play the game. So, uh, so you're going to fit in with some details. Uh, presumably, was it group games you used to bunk school for? Just the finals? Or was there a if, if 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 I talk again, trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I said, you know, like. Uh, as a kid, you do things you, you you don't control, no. But like I said, to the kids, don't do it, you know. Uh, go to school because uh, when I when I I will tell you when I when I was kid and then I tried I was 15, 14, 15 years old and I tried to go to the clubs, you know, to do like tests and then stay in the club and then I always choose uh, for the school, you know. So I stopped to go to the club and then I I prioritize, uh, I prioritize school. So I go to a school instead of uh, being playing the club. So it's a good thing as well. Huh? <laughs> so it's worked out, but what, was there a group of you? Were you hidden somewhere? No, 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 no. I just I just go to a school and then in the half time, you know, we have in Brazil works like this. You do like three hours and then we stop uh, to eat. So in this stop, I go to home. To watch the game and then uh well when my mom got home i was like late i supposed to be at home already so uh she didn't know but now she of course she knows <laughs> so <laughs> but i'm okay with that you know uh like i said kids don't do it that's no good you know but uh in that time, I enjoy a lot watching the the champions league and then coming back up today it's obviously such a Passionate, you've got such a passion for the competition. How much of a gamble was it when you left City to come to a club that hadn't been in the Champions League for so long? Was that a worry? And would you have come here if you hadn't been convinced that they were going to get back there no, very soon? No, that's mean nothing, you know, because I I was 100% this season. Now it's easy to say, but... <laughs> Uh, for sure, you know, uh, I was 100% uh, where he qualified. So I come to help the, the club to qualify as well with the players, with the, the manager, the staff, everyone. And we did it, you know. So I'm very happy now we uh, can play again Champions League. And then uh, obviously, like I said, we go for it. Last few, James. Um, Alexander Sinchenko has told a story about how when he was um, talking to Mikel about maybe coming to sign for Arsenal, he turned up at his house and convinced him to sign. Could you tell us about that? Well, if I if 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 I convince him to come, he have to give him something, no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, yeah, I I was I was at uh, I was in Manchester, you know, at at home with my family, and I I supposed to come London day after, and then I come in by by car, and then uh, Edu just text me and saying they uh they 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 was going to Zina house, uh, if I want to come to join them to talk with Zina, and then I come uh, by plane with them, so I say okay, <laughs> I go. And then, uh, yeah, I went there and I talked with him. He was surprised, you know. 
and then uh, if I help, I help a little bit, he he take the, the decision to come. I'm happy because, like I said, I like him, you know, as a player and as a person. I'm. I treat him as a brother, you know, and then I'm very happy he he come, and then uh, he's paying him now, you know, like he's playing good, he's playing every time, and then uh, more more than this, he's very happy. So I'm happy for him. What did you say to him? I just say it's enough. You have to take a decision, you know, like I did. I did it, and then uh, I'm ha happy with this, you know, the decision I made. And then he was like a little bit, uh, I don't know, I need to talk with uh, my wife first, you know, like this. But he took the decision and I think if you ask him, I think was the right. He called you a secret agent. Yeah, so that's why I mean, you know, like he can give me some percent. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan? Hey, Gabriel, when you joined the club last season, as I said, you went in the Champions League, they just narrowly missed out. Do you sense that disappointment in the squad and was that something that they, they spoke about last season when you were getting close to qualifying for it again? Uh, to be honest, I was watching the games, you know, before I joined the club, the last games, you know, because I had a chat with Edu, so I was, you know... You were supporting them? Uh, eh? Were you supporting them? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I was like, come on, qualifying, but... Like I said, the, this means nothing, you know. Obviously, uh, everyone at club was a little bit, you know, uh, not happy because they want to qualify. Uh, and then, like I said, uh, I come here and there was another year, you know, like another chance. And everyone was happy, you know, to go again. And then that's why uh, we qualified. And unfortunately, we didn't win the league. That was my was our first target, but at least we qualified, so that was good. Just going back to the sporting game last season, what were your what were your emotions at not getting through that game and not getting to the very end of the Europa League last year? Uh, I think uh, was a bad night, you know, from us, and then um, I don't know. We want to win every competition, but there's a work like this you know the the real world is not like this and then we had a bad night that's it you know we have to work on that and then uh, make sure we improve as a player and then uh, take the the right decision on the pitch and do the right things perfect thank you guys thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.